Välkomna till EFN Råvaror som idag inte bara ska handla om råvaror utan också utkomsten av några ovanliga sådana. Vi säger varmt välkommen till Gervais Jacques. You're the CEO of a company called Five N Plus, noted on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Wonderful to have you here. Thank you. I want to talk about what you do and how you do it, essentially. If we start with the end product, it's pretty advanced. It's the film in the solar power plant and some semiconductors associated with this. Is that a good description? It is a good description. We are involved in two renewable energy, producing the tin film that goes into you know, the solar panel, then different layers like cadmium, tellurium, zinc, tellurium, cadmium, zinc, tellurium, cadmium, selenium, and then two glasses are comprised with the semiconductor compound to generate the energy. And we're also uh, deeply involved in producing the space solar cells that goes into satellites. Very fascinating. I want to hear more about that business. But if we go back to the commodities, you mentioned a few that I think are not very well known. Tellurium, indium, cadmium, zinc, of course, everybody knows, bismuth and antimony are some names. Which ones are the most important and how do you access them? They all have their importance for us. You know, we are exceeding them through degraded resources. It's all started with teaming with mining and smelting companies like Boliden, like Glencore, Rio Tinto. We're using what used to be landfill. You know, they are, it's now being valorized and we're extracting the tellurium, to give an example yep. from Boliden. You know, we're extracting the tellurium and we're reaching a quality up to 5N. The name of the company is 5N+, meaning that tellurium, the, the purity will go up to 99.999% of purity. So top tellurium. Top tellurium. Why? To get the full you know, quality of char characteristic of the tellurium, that is the semiconductor material. But you buy waste material from mining companies like Boulid, and how do you, you, you must have an advanced processing system. How does this work? We do. We have multiple steps. In the case of tellurium, it, it will go through hydrometallurgy and then pyrometallurgy, and then we, it will go to zone refining, and then we in every steps we do, we're cranking the purity. Sometimes it could the lead time could take two weeks to go to the purity level that we need in order to play with the metal after. This is very interesting. I understand that you made a journey from more of a commodity refiner to a specialized end product designer. Can you talk a little bit about the change in the company, the transition? Yeah, the company is more than 20 years old. It's, it's all started with the capacity of extracting, you know, these minor metals that are coming associated with copper or zinc. Then these minor metals like tellurium, like bismuth, you know, we've been able to extract them. And then the move of the company over time, it was into producing products, products for end cost Customer, like in the case of renewable energy, like in the case of uh, space solar cells, we're extracting the germanium, it goes to a high level of purity, and then we're producing the germanium wafers, and then we're, gr we're growing the crystal, doing the wafers, and then you know, we have a full semiconductor fab in Germany, in Heilbronn, doing the space solar cells, and at the end with the connectors, you only need to install them into the solar array, and you can power your satellites. This sounds fantastic. Space is a very hot field right now. I do have the feeling, though, that solar energy in general is in a bit of a bad situation right now. At least if you look at listed companies, there were, many of them have been having a tough couple of years behind us right now. How are you doing in this environment? Most of them are silicon solar uh, solar producer you know we are playing with our customer is first solar they're really into tin film technology which is a different technology than silicon and your most of the silicon is be, is be, is coming from china and we are really the alternative technology less than 5% of total solar capacity installed in the world is using tin film technology but it most of the you know the the the, the characteristic of it is the the company that are using it are big utilities then we're not into the uh, you know the domestic sales we're really into the uh, the utilities and this is performing well the backlog of first solar is more than 5 years how about tariffs? I mean, we have a new political landscape, obviously, with, with Donald Trump coming into the White House. Would tariffs or a more hostile attitude towards China be 
a positive for you? Do, would you avoid competition or is it a bad thing? Well, you know, we went through a globalization. You know, it was all about making sure that you can access to all the goods and uh, at the cheaper cost. Now we're going into regionalization, we're going to shorter supply chain, and yes, there's a threat of tariff. It, it will create some instability, but we're competing against China in most of the case. In most, if we look at all the products we're doing, most of the time we're competing against a Chinese supplier. Then we believe as we're a producer in Germany, in Canada, in the US, that if ever tariff will come in place, they will be most likely hitting China more mm -hmm. than the other country. Then that could be to a benefit for us. Finally, uh, the president-elect is a rather traditional list when it comes to energy. He's a drill baby, drill candidate, yeah. not very positive towards solar energy. Any thoughts on that? Well, my thought is the world and the US, they need more energy. Some of it will come from oil and gas. Some of it will come from solar and eventually probably nuclear as well. Then the basket of energy needed to fill the needs of the, the US population, solar will be part of the solution. Gervais Schack, wonderful to have you with us here in the studio. I'm very instructive. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. Det här är en podd från EFN Ekonomikanalen. Tillförordnad ansvarig utgivare är Christer Elmorsantaff.